Today, our Holy Mother the Church celebrates the feast of Saint Teresa of Child Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Teresa was born on January 2, 1873, and her parents were worried because of her frail condition as a newborn baby. Her family surrounded her with affection. Her father Louis Martin was a jeweler and watchmaker. She was educated in a very catholic environment including mass attendance at 5:30 a.m. The strict observance of fasts and prayer to the rhythm of the liturgical year. The Martins also practiced charity visiting the sick and the elderly and welcoming occasionally beggar to their table. Her sister later portrayed Teresa was very responsive to this education. She is a nervous child but she is very good, very intelligent and remembers everything. She realized call to religious life so she decided to commit herself in Carmelite. Teresa was often sick. She began to suffer from nervous tremors. The family doctor could make no diagnosis. So the tremors continued. Yet by the grace of God on 9th April 1888 she became a Carmelite postulant. The end of Teresa's time as a postulant arrived on the January 10, 1889 with her taking off the habit. In this period, Teresa deepened the sense of her vocation to lead a hidden life, to pray and offer her sufferings for priests, to forget herself, to increase discreet acts of charity. With a new name Carmelite receives when she enters the order Teresa was given name Teresa of Jesus on her entry to the convent Teresa entered was an old established house containing the cells and sick rooms in which she was to live and die had been standing only 10 years what she found was community of very aged nuns some odd and cranky some sick and troubled some lukewarm and complacent teresa prayed without great sensitive emotions she increased the small acts of charity and care for others doing small services she accepted criticism in silence even unjust criticisms and smiled at the sisters who were unpleasant to her she always prayed for priests Teresa had the determination to become a saint however by the end of 1894 6 years as a carmelite made her realize how small and insignificant she felt she saw the limitations of all her efforts she remained small and very far off from the unfailing love that she would wish to practice She learned to ask God's help. She was struck up by another passage from the book of Isaiah. You shall be carried at the breasts and upon the knees they shall carry you. As one whom the mother comforts, so will I comfort you. Chapter 66 verses 12 to 13. She concluded that Jesus would carry her to the summit of sanctity. in her quest for sanctity and in order to attain holiness and to express her love of god she believed that it was not necessary to accomplish heroic acts or great deeds she wrote love proves itself by deeds so how am i to show my love the only way i can prove my love is by scattering flowers and these flowers or every little sacrifice every glance and word and the doing of the least actions for love the race of final years were marked by a steady decline that she bore all the sufferings without complaint tuberculosis was the key element of teresa's final suffering but she saw that as part of her spiritual journey after observing a rigorous lenten fast in 1896 
she went to bed on the eve of good friday and felt a joyous sensation she wrote how oh, how sweet this memory really is i had scarcely laid my head upon the pillow when i felt something like a bubbling stream mounting to my lips i didn't know what it was the next morning her handkerchief was soaked in blood and she understood her fate coughing up of blood meant tuberculosis and tuberculosis meant death she wrote ha my soul was filled with a great consolation i was interiorly persuaded that jesus on the anniversary of his own death wanted to have me hear his first call she suffered terribly when she was near death her physical suffering kept increasing on august 19 in 1897 she received her last communion she died on 30th september 1897 aged 24 On her death bed she is reported to have said I have reached the point of not being able to suffer any more because all suffering is sweet to me her last words were my god i love you Teresa was buried on 4th October in 1897 in the Carmelite plot where her parents had been buried her body was exhumed in September 1910 and the remains placed in a lead coffin and transferred to another tomb in March 1923 she was beatified by pope pius the 11th she is the patron saint of missionaries hiv aids suffers florist gardeners and loss of parents tuberculosis saint teresa of child jesus pray for us live jesus